Gun, gun, gun. Star, star, hero. Gun, gun. Hi, right, what's up, YouTube? Gunstar Hero here, and lately I've been getting a lot of requests on how I use and set up my Zim Apex um, key configs on my uh, keyboard and button placement on my mouse. And this video here is going to show you exactly how I use my Zim Apex. Now, I want you to follow this step by step and do exactly what I say, and uh, you should get the same results or almost the same results. Now, um, let's get started. First things first, you want to come right here to the website. And uh, make sure you have one of the uh, Belkin transfer cables listed here. One of these SKU numbers here. If you don't have any of these SKU numbers or um, the pluggable transfer cable, this method will not work. Now, I can only vouch for the F. Um, I think I have one of these two here. I can't remember. Well, I just know one of these work. Like it says here, any other cables that are not listed will not work. So if you don't have one of the cables listed here, this method will not work this is coming from the man who wrote this the um software all right so after you get that you want to make sure you um flash it you want to set up your zim apex you want to flash it to the latest uh firmware and you want to download the latest manager um you also want to download the um the latest manager on your phone as well um i did it this way i installed it on my pc and my phone because i know with the zim 4 you have to install the uh f um the Zim Manager first. You want to install the Zim Manager before you install Zim Link. So um I installed it on my computer and on my uh phone. So next thing you want to do, you want to download Zim Link. You download Zim Link here. Zim Link here. You you download it, install it. Nothing special. All right. Boom. Now uh. This is what I do. You don't have to do this, but this is exactly what I do. I want to make sure all aim acceleration is disabled. Now, um, you can do that a few ways, and I'm going to show you all three ways here in this video how to disable aim acceleration. Now, I'm going to show you the first two steps first, and then the next step I'll show you when I get to it. Now, um, this is uh the Mark C Windows 10 8.1, Windows 8, and Windows 7 mouse aim acceleration fix well acceleration fix so um you uh download it i'm not going to download it download it and then you click the appropriate resolution size and it'll go into your registry tweak it boom you restart your pc and uh aim acceleration on your pc should be eliminated you can also if you want to go back if it doesn't feel good when you use it you can also go back and just uh fix it back to how it was to give you the option to fix it back to it. everything is in here when you download it and uh, install and it, it is good you just do that <laughs> so um, after you do that right you want to um, set up your um zim apex now the steps here i don't um do everything like how it's listed here step by step you have to do it but this is how i do it first things first you want to plug your mouse and keyboard into your PC. Next thing you want to do is plug the um, transfer cable into your PC and the other end into the Zim Hub, Hub 2. Then you want to plug your Xbox One or PS4 controller into Hub 3 of the uh, Zim Apex USB Hub. Then you want to plug that hub into your uh, Apex. This is the Apex. Then you want to plug the Apex into your console of choice PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3. Now, if your console is not powered on, you power it on. Boom. Once you, that's the power on sound. Once you power that on, uh, your console, you should see the uh, Zim Apex light up. Now, uh, once you have that um set up and on, you want to open up Zim Link. You don't open up Zim Link before your console is powered on. All right, because if you do, you'll see a message here that says um packet delay and it's not gonna work if that's the case you just close it and open it again and that's how that should be fixed you should fix the packet delay uh, issue so um here's the uh, zim link and uh you, all you want to only the only thing you want to do is just set up your activation key my activation key is the um pause break button on the keyboard so once i hit that button uh, once i hit that button 
Zim Link is activated. I can't move my mouse on my PC because um it's uh, sending all the information from my mouse and keyboard that's connected to my PC to the uh, Zim Apex. Now, if I hit it again, it's disabled. I can move my mouse. All right. Now, what makes Zim Link so awesome is that all the information from your mouse and keyboard is sent directly over to your PC. I love it. So, um, here's all my uh, key binders for my keyboard. Nothing special there. Everything is default. And then for your mouse, what you want to do is download any associated program for your mouse. And in my case, I have the Logitech G502. So I download this um, uh, Logitech gaming software. So um, I also have the Logitech G13. This is slowly growing on me. The only thing I don't like about it is that it has membrane keys. Like I'm more of a um, mechanical key guy. I like my, my blue switches. I love my blue switches, man. That that um that feedback right there is just you know so satisfying. I love it. Now um I have nothing special here. Everything is default. Um, you can set up little uh um I want to say profiles here up top. This is my default profile. Wait, let me just go to the mouse. Yeah, so this is my default profile. This is my Fortnite PC profile, and this is my uh Zim Apex profile. So when I come here, I just load up this uh, Zim Apex profile. Make sure it's set to the uh, the persistent profile. And um, it should work on the Apex. Now, here's the um, uh, button placement on my mouse. I have this DPI switch button set to B, and B is my jump button. Um, I know a lot of people say that's just weird. They used to space bar, but... I didn't start using mouse and keyboard on PC first. I started using mouse and keyboard with the um the uh what was the, that was the Zim Edge. Yeah, started with the Zim Edge, and this is just how I started. Like when I first started using uh mouse and on um, the um the Zim Edge, I didn't use a keyboard at first. I used to use the Sony Nav controller. So you know, I needed the, the jump button to be on the mouse, and I was used to A or um X being my jump button from console playing. So a or X is always um right over by your right hand, so I just you know basically mimic that you know. So um that's my jump button. This would always be like my uh, melee button. This would be my grenade button. Now for my Destiny Two players, hey, see I got shade step, um bound to this button because trying to shade step on um console, it's kind of difficult because you have to double tap. I would have to double tap my crouch button, which is a uh, space bar, and uh, that's difficult when I'm playing Destiny on PC. I just press one button and it does it. So, you know, I don't need a one button shade step, you know, so that's my one button shade step button. And it's kind of difficult, you know, trying to like hold two keys and, you know, shade step, you know, in a direction, an eight way direction and double tap at the same time. You know, when, when, situ when the situation is crazy, when you're in trials and you want to shade step real quick, get out the way, you know, you want to do it quick. So I just have my one button shade step, boom, and it do it. Now, I also have a rapid fire button because sometimes I get lazy. You know, when, I, when I'm using the Mighty Multi tool or the or the Vigilance Wing, um, I just wanted to just spray people down, man. I get lazy. I'm not gonna lie. So you know, I got my rapid fire button here. Boom, boom, boom. just hold it and it just it just get crazy. You know what I mean, everything else is pretty much default the same. Now I'm also gonna show you this. Um, when I'm on PC, when I'm playing PC games, I use 500 DPI. I just started using 12,000 DPI. I was using like 7,000. Um, at first, I was using 3,000 for um, Zim 4. And then I switched it up to uh, 7,000. And 7,000 was like a sweet spot for me. But um, I'm using 12,000 now. Because I want to make sure the uh, Zim Apex has a lot of um, information to work with when I'm uh, using it. And I'm using it at 1,000 uh, polling rate. And... Remember the third way I told you to disable uh, aim acceleration? This is the third way right here. You disable aim acceleration. This is enabled. This is, this is disabled. Now, I'm not sure if I showed you the second way. So, I'm going to show you right now. You go to settings. And then you just want to type in mouse. You want to go here. You want to go to uh, additional mouse settings. You want to go to pointer options. And this right here. This is enabled. This is disabled. This is enabled. 
This is disabled. You want disabled. You don't want aim acceleration because what aim acceleration does, if you um, it's like a car when you when you accelerate, it starts off going slow and then it goes fast. So you would never have a consistent aim pattern when you're um using aim acceleration. Like you would never get that same. Let's say if a guy is um, like ninety degrees to you and you're looking straight ahead and you want to just you know do a quick swipe and boom. You would never get that consistent swipe over 90 degrees to um to put them down. So you want to make sure that aim acceleration is completely disabled. All right, completely disabled. So that's pretty much how I use my um Zim Apex. Now I also want to show you one thing. I don't have angle snapping enabled. Um, for some reason, when I use uh, angle snapping. I get beat up, man. I don't like angle snap. I get beat up when I use it. So I lose a lot of gunfights. So um, I don't use angle snap. And that's that. So um, yeah, like I was saying before, um, uh, Zimlink is awesome because it takes the information from your mouse and from your PC and it sends it directly over to uh, your um, Apex and it's beautiful, man. I could run my 12,000 DPI. I, I've never had a problem. Everybody said they experienced jitter, jittering, jitter aim, and all of this stuff. I have not experienced any of that with um, my Zim Apex, even before I was using uh, Zim Link. You know, so uh, I don't know, man. I've never had no problem with the uh, Apex. The only problem I do have with the Apex is that it's just too good. <laughs> it's too good for its own good, man. Like it's just way too good for its own good. Like this thing right here is just awesome, man. Like, I can't tell you how much, um, how good the Apex is, man. You just gotta get it and try it. Now I know a lot of you guys might come from like PC gaming and use use the Apex and think, oh, this is bullshit. Yada yada yada. I do think the um, the uh, marketing uh thing they use is a little extreme because a lot of games are not one-to-one -one, but it still feels you just got to get used to it if you're coming from pc gaming and you got that whole pc mindset like the pc gaming mindset like i'm gonna just you know flick shot and 180 and all of this you can do all of that but it's just not to the extreme as pc you gotta you know you you gotta just learn every game has a different feel once you get that feeling for that game and master it you will be dropping dudes in no time in no time, I guarantee that you'll be dropping dudes in no time. Now, I'm not sponsored by Zim Link or um the um Zim Technology Company. I don't get free nothing. I paid for everything I have, except for um Zim Link. That's free. The software is all free. Just the hardware you have to pay for. I'm not sponsored. This is not to get in good grace with these guys. This is just the truth. Um, it's because of the uh, Zim Technology Company why I built my second. This is. This is the reason why I built my second PC. I have two gaming PCs. Like, mouse and keyboard with Zim was my first experience. You know what I mean? My first experience with mouse and keyboard was, was with the Zim, you know? So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to those guys. Like, it, you know, brought me to a whole new market instead of console gaming, you know? So, um, yeah, like, hey, that's neither here nor there. I'm just, you know, sharing my thoughts. But that's how I use my uh, Zim Apex. If you like it, like it. If you don't, don't. I know a lot of people don't like mouse and keyboard on consoles, but it's here, man. Um, a lot of developers are implement implementing it. <laughs> Imper, oh, I can't even say the word. They're putting it in the games. Let's just do that. Implementing. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. You know, a lot of developers is uh, they put mouse and keyboard in the game. Native mouse and keyboard support. So it's here. You know, I mean, it's either you with it or you're not. And if you're not with it, if I see you on the battlefield, man. You better try hard, you know? So, <laughs> anyway, this your boy Gunstar. I'm out. Peace. Gun. Star. Hero.